Justin Rodriguez here with the Varsity 845 Friday Night Football Wrap, the semifinal edition here from Fowler Field in Middletown. I covered two games here tonight in Class A, Walk Hill and Roosevelt in one semifinal, and in Class C, O'Neill and Millbrook. We have to start with an exciting game, final score, Walk Hill 55, Roosevelt 47. This was a great game. Um, some highlights. Walk Hill quarterback Joe Pilateri passes for 224 yards. He now needs 155 to break the Section 9 single season record set by John Garsha of Warwick in 2011. That would be 2,754 yards. Sean Paleo rushes for three touchdowns. Zach Slater rushes for two touchdowns. Slater's second uh, touchdown gave Walk Hill a 48-41 lead with five minutes left. Hoskins scores, makes it 48-47. He finished with 318 yards and three touchdowns. That score, to pull them within one, Walk Hill actually seemed to let them in with 40.4 seconds left to get the ball back. But Roosevelt takes a timeout, goes for two. Hoskins is stuffed. And then on onside kick, Brandon Purdy picks it up and rushes 53 yards, alertly I might add. And Walk Hill, uh, Walk Hill wins 55-47, of course. So this may be, you know, one of the best games I'll ever play ever. That was that game was absolutely insane. I mean, I mean I'm thinking about it. He's going up the sidelines, um, and you know, everybody score, score. There, you're like, okay, wait, they can win the game still, or they can tie it. But I mean, that was a crazy play. You know, I, I love that kid. It was an amazing play. It was awesome. The defense was just amazing today. I mean, we gave up 47 points, but. In reality, when we come back next week, we just gotta stop the run game, but I think we do that, and we'll be good. Okay. Again, sixth year in a row, it'll be Walk Hill Cornwall next Friday here at Fowler. Cornwall's won the five of the five of the six meetings of the championship, 53-0 last year. They beat Walk Hill 42-35 uh, earlier this season. I'm expecting more of the 42-35 game than the 53-0 game. I mean, last year that that 53-0 that was just it was terrible. But we just got to come back, and I mean, we all have that in the back of our heads, and we're just we're gonna fight, fight till the last minute, fight till that last second. We're gonna go get it. But you know what I'm focused on? I want to win the Section 9 championship. I mean, we're, we're getting to it. I, I really want to win it. That's number one in my mind. In the C game, the two-time defending champ, O'Neill beat Millbrook 22-16. Millbrook was previously undefeated and had beaten O'Neill 28-21. That started a little bit of a slide for O'Neill. They had lost three of four. Uh, Keegan uh, West, quarterback, of course, three-year starter, had missed a few games with a broken left thumb on his non-throwing hand. That would be his left hand. He did come back. He was a game time, a quote game time decision. I figured he would uh, I figured he would be in the game. After the game, he did uh, joke with me and say he kind of played me and tricked me. Keegan, I don't know if you really did get me. I, I did think you were pl would play. That's a credit to your, your toughness. Keegan's 10-yard touchdown in the closing seconds of the third quarter made it 2016 O'Neal, Malik Chambers, Runs it in uh, the two-point conversion to make it 22-16. O'Neal makes some big defensive stops in the fourth quarter. Uh, one of the, to seal the game, Malik Chambers makes an interception at O'Neal's 10-yard line with about three minutes left, gets it back to midfield. O'Neal clinches the win. They'll play Burke uh, in the championship. Burke beat Liberty at Deet Stadium in the other semifinal. O'Neal, again, two-time defending champ last year. Uh, first team in 16 years from Section 9 to win a state playoff game. Burke beat O'Neill 36-21 the week after the O'Neill Millbrook loss. Uh, again, this will be Cornwall Wallkill. This this should be a great game. He was just our will to our will to win. We won it in our hearts because we lost him earlier in the season. We just really want to come out, make a statement to Section 9 that we're coming here, we're coming for the Section 9 championship. We defend our championship. We just want to play a hell of a game, man. That's what we did. It feels great. The difference between this season, last season, and this team and that team is we've been through a lot of failure and a lot of hardship, and it's really built our team up. Last year, we, you know, we lift through the regular season and we started getting the playoffs and it was a little bit tough, but, you know, facing that hardship and failure really built our team, really built our brotherhood. Well, honestly, God, we kind of did an acting job on you. We knew I was going to play when you came to our practice, so we, we just did, we didn't want them to know what to expect. So, you know what, I, I knew coming back, I knew, I, I, like I said, I wanted to be 100% confident in what I could do with the thumb. You know, I felt comfortable all night. You know, I had a tremendous offensive line. You know, they made all their blocks. 
Malik's an animal. You know, he makes all his right reads, makes all the right carries, and our defense stepped up. You know, we, we, we knew this week, you know, with such a great football team like Millbrook and such a diverse offense like they run, you know, we knew we had to step up, and our guys stepped up when they had to. So, you know, just too proud of this team. That's only step one. After blowing Liberty out last week, Burke survived a 24-19 win up at Deet Stadium. We talked to Matt Prisbaki and Justin Fenicle after the game. Offense! Team too. Uh, you know, just coming into this game, I knew I had to work hard. I was out last week. Got me even more motivated to play this game right here. We played for some people in heaven and just came out and played the game as hard as I could and we did it. Uh, it felt good. You know, uh, I, we just did the things that we've been doing all year and uh, we came out here, we won the game. You know, we kept fighting the whole way through. Everyone kept fighting, the defensive line, offensive line, they kept sticking it up. And Liberty did a hell of a job fighting it through the whole entire game. Okay, thanks for joining us. This is Justin Rodriguez signing off for Varsity 845. And remember, I'll be back at Fowler for tomorrow's games. Class B semi, Rondell Valley versus Highland should be a great game. And another potential good game, Warwick versus Newburgh in the Class AA semifinals. And we will be back tomorrow night with, of course, a recap with plenty of highlights and player interviews. Have a great night.